Hey guys, uh, so for tomorrow's workout, we've got um, 50 weighted squats um, for time slash completion. Like the main goal is for you to lift heavy. Um, a secondary goal would be to not take too, so much rest that it's not challenging for you. But the goal is not pick a lighter weight and go fast. It's pick the heaviest, most awkward object you can squat with safely and get through 50 sets, uh, I'm sorry, 50 reps uh, with that weight and with that load. If you've got to take breaks, um, that's fine. I plan to, but don't spend half an hour and, and you know, take a five minute break between every set. Um, be intentional, make it part of your like specified workout, uh, part of your day. But it shouldn't be so light that you're just gonna smoke through it and then move on. You know, it should be challenging. Um, I would prefer if it was like a front rack, bear hug type hold. If you have to, you can go to the shoulder um, or on your back. It just depends on the object. I'm gonna use a concrete bag to demonstrate. Uh, but before we get there, the warm up, we've got a couple exercises that you may not know. Uh, one's gonna be a frog stretch, one is a uh, lateral knee rock, and then one is a um, the fire hydrant. So I'm gonna show you guys that real quick. Uh, so for the frog stretch, I think I've got two minutes prescribed for that. We're gonna get down on our yoga mat or the uh, carpet, taking our knees out wide, kind of like a squat with our toes pointing away. And we're gonna slowly drop down to the forearm. I'm gonna have a dog join me here in a second. And let the hips drop and keep the chest up. You should feel a stretch on the inside of your groin and the outside of your hips. As you get looser, start to move the knees wider and try to let the hips sink lower into the stretch. So two minutes here. From there, you've also got some fire hydrant kickbacks. So we'll take this quadruped position, hands under the shoulders, knees under the hips. We're gonna lift our knee up for the fire hydrant and then kick our leg back, squeeze the glute, control back down to the starting position, lift, squeeze. You should feel this on the outside of the hip and then a lot in the glute as you extend your leg. Try to, if you can, keep the knee off the ground and really fight for range of motion in the hip socket and control that joint articulation through the movement. Uh, the, oh, you know, the other exercise you may not know is knee rocks. So we're gonna lay on our backs, feet up under the knees, lower back on the floor, and I'm gonna rock my knees from side to side for 10 each direction. If you have some lower back tightness, this will be good for you. And you guys can also add in a wider, after those close uh, close legs, a wider stance. And do the same thing. It's gonna loosen up your hips and your glutes and your lower back before we squat. And then on that ob odd object squat, find something heavy, hold it. And your goal is to get through 50. That could be 10 sets of five if it's really heavy, five sets of 10, two sets of 25, just get them done. Work on a nice upright torso, knees out, weight in your heels, and hips below parallel. If you need a target to squat to, grab a target. And that's the workout for Monday. If you guys have questions, let us know, and um, talk to you soon.